Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Many people asked me to do more videos about golden ratio. So, this is another tutorial, to show you how to design a fish logo, using the golden circles. Make sure to watch to the end of the video, and don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ask me what you want in the comment section. Ok, in the first golden ratio tutorial, I made a Fibonacci rectangle where the ratio between the squares is approximately equal to 1.618. Today we will make a perfect golden rectangle where the ratio is always exactly 1.618. So, hold shift and make a perfect square. Go to edit, click on copy then return to edit and click on paste in place. While the square selected, go to transform panel, make sure that this chain is unchecked, and multiply the width value by 1.618. Ok, select the two shapes, go to align window, then click on horizontal align left. Now with the rectangle tool, Hold shift and make a square from the top right anchor point of the rectangle. Now make a square for this rectangle. Press Ctrl Y to activate the outline view and make sure that everything is aligned. Repeat the same process for every rectangle. To make the golden circles, select the ellipse tool. Then hold Alt and Shift and make a circle from the center of each square. Ok let's take out the circles. I showed you this method just for the sake of learning. Now, I will show you how to easily make the golden circles, which we will use to design our golden fish logo. Ok, let's duplicate this bigger circle. Go to edit, then press copy. Then paste it in place. Go to transform panel. But now you must activate the chain so the circle will transform proportionally. Now, divide the width by 1.618. Repeat the same process until you get all the circles. You can see that we got the same circles that we made with the rectangle. Ok, this is a few sketches that I made. When sketching you have to make your drawing as geometric as possible. It's better to make all your lines circular. This is the final sketch that I will go with. Drag the sketch on top of the circles. Right click, then arrange, then, click center back. Now, resize your sketch until it fits in the circles. Now, decrease the opacity of the sketch to 50%. Then go to Object, click on Lock, then click on Selection. I colored the golden circles so I don't get confused when the circles are overlapped. Ok, hold Alt. Then drag the red circle and align it with the bigger roundness in the sketch. Drag it again, and align it with the fish shape here. Always hold Alt to duplicate the shape when dragging. Now, I'll close the fish body with the green circle. Press Ctrl Y to activate the outline view, and align the circles perfectly. Make sure to activate the snap to point option.
Okay, everything is good. Control Y to go out of the outline view. Select everything, and with the shape builder, drag the cursor on the fish body parts. Then, take off the useless parts. I will make every part of the fish alone, to make the process easier. Now, I will make this part. I'll fill the body shape first. OK, drag the red circle and align it with the sketch line. Again, drag the big circle and close the shape. It doesn't have to be exactly like the sketch. Select everything, then with the shape builder, drag the cursor on the new shape. Now, take off the external parts. Drag the big circle. Activate the outline view by pressing Ctrl Y, then align it with the fish shape. OK, drag the orange circle, and close the tail part. Select everything, select the shape builder, and drag on the shape. Then take off the useless parts. Make the same process for all the tail parts. OK, to make the fish's fin, hold out and drag the big circle. Now close it with the orange circle. Select everything, and with the shape builder, drag on the fin shape. OK, take off the useless parts. and switch the fin color from stroke to fill. We are using only the bigger circles, because almost the previous part are equal and big. Now we will make the smaller parts. Switch the body color to stroke so we can see the sketch. Now we will make this fin. Drag the green circle and align it with the fin. Then drag the yellow circle and close the shape. Select everything, and with the shape builder, drag on the fin. Take off the yellow circle, now, to make this gap behind the fin. Drag the green circle, and place it here. Select everything, and with the shape builder tool, Drag on the gap shape. Take of the useless parts. And with the eyedropper tool give this parts the color of the body. Now, hold shift, then select the gap shape with the body. Go to the pathfinder, and click on minus front. Select the fin with the body, go to Pathfinder and click on Unite. 
Okay, we merged this parts with the body. Give all the parts the same color, then switch it to stroke. Go to object, and click on unlock all. Then, take off the sketch. Ok this is our logo outline, perfectly gridded with the golden ratio circles. Ok, now we will color our logo. This is our logo outline, and this are two gradient colors that I already made. You will find everything in the file linked in the description. Ok, select the body shape. Then with the eyedropper tool, pick the blue color. With the gradient tool, adjust your gradient the way you want. Select the top fin, and give it the orange color. Adjust the gradient. Hold shift, and select all the tail parts. With the eyedropper tool, pick the orange gradient. Adjust your gradient. Always the darker parts will look like it's in the back. Now I will apply some highlight and shadows using the golden circles. Ok, hold out, and drag this circle and align it with the fin. Then drag the bigger one, and align it with the body, and intersect it with the fin, like this. Select the body with the two circles, then with the shape builder drag on the formed shape. Select the new shape, then press Ctrl X to cut it. Then repeat pressing Ctrl Z to return to the first phase. Now. Take off the circles, then press Ctrl F to paste the new shape in front. With the eyedropper pick the body color. Go to the transparency panel, and change the color mode to multiply. Decrease the opacity to 50%. Now, we will make this part. Drag the second bigger circle and place it here, from the back of the fin, to the end of the body. Hold shift, and select the circle with the body. With the shape builder, drag on the new formed shape. Select the shape, then press Ctrl X to cut it, then repeat pressing Ctrl Z until you return to the first phase. Now, press Ctrl F to paste the shape in front, and with the eyedropper give it the color of shadow. Ok, so far so good. Drag the big circle, and place it on top of the body, like this. Hold shift, and select the body with the circle, and with shape builder tool, drag on the formed shape. Press Ctrl X to cut it, then press Ctrl Z two times to return, then delete the circle. And press Ctrl F to paste the shape in front. Now, give it a white color. Then go to the transparency panel and change color mode to soft light. Then decrease the opacity to 50%. Congratulations, 
We finished our golden ratio fish logo. Thank you for watching, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial, and if you want to exercise with my sketch and make the same logo, you are free to use the files in the description, and you can send me your designs on my Facebook page, I will feature some of them, the link is on the about section. Okay, see you in another video.